up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 mazda cx5 courtesy of jack g and volvo mazda in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so wanted to check out the cx5 yet again for another year because of course, this is a very safe vehicle, incredible reliability on this one. I believe Consumer Reports puts it actually at well above average, which is the highest reliability rating that they give out. All wheel drive available for the winter, of course, and there's actually several big changes. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are several different trim levels for the 2021 CX-5, starting with the Sport, starting at $25,270, Touring for $27,010, Carbon Edition, which is a new trim level for the 2021 model year. This one starts at $28,855, Carbon Edition Turbo for $30,000. $30,660. Grand Touring for $30,460. Grand Touring Reserve for $35,285. And lastly, the Signature, which by the way is the one we have today, starting at $37,405. And by the way, that was all pricing for the front wheel drive configuration for the CX-5. If you wanted to add all wheel drive to any of those prices, simply add $1,400 there. But as you can probably conclude by the trim level names, there are two different engine configurations available for this CX-5. First one belonging to the Sport Touring, Carbon Edition, and Grand Touring. This one is going to be a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder engine, putting out 187 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 186 pound feet of torque available at 4,000 RPM. Again, sent to front wheels or all wheels through a six-speed automatic with paddle shifters for the Grand Touring trim level and up with that engine configuration. Redline comes in at approximately 6,500 RPM, 0 to 60 in 8.3 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 25 in the city, 31 on the highway for the front-wheel drive, 24 city, 30 on the highway then for the all-wheel drive configuration. But so then there is the other engine configuration available for this one, which is the one we have today. And this one is going to be a 2.5 liter turbocharged in line four cylinder engine this one puts out 250 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 320 pound feet of torque available at 2500 rpm that's a crazy torque number considering the size of the cx-5 so that's dang impressive if you ask me Center front wheels are all wheels through a six-speed automatic. Red line comes in at 6,300 RPM, zero to 60, approximately 6.4 seconds. And you guys know we will be testing that out in a little bit here. Paddle shifters are going to be available for this one as well. I do happen to have them too. And MPG numbers come in at 23 in the city, 28 highway for the front wheel drive, 22 city, 27 on the highway for the all wheel drive configuration. And by the way, the recommended fuel for this particular engine configuration is premium unleaded although you can put regular unleaded in it. The trade-off to that is those power numbers will be pretty substantially reduced. So if you wanted a good bit extra power, go ahead and fill it up with premium unleaded fuel basically. But before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or acceleration test in the CX-5, I did want to mention there is a sport driving mode and that is going to be located just to the left of the shifter that will adjust things like the shift points and the throttle response. And now having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. I want to test out the paddle shifters first and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, you guys, so before we do this paddle shifter test, I did push the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. That is going to give me full control over the shifting end. Let's go ahead and pull out onto the road here and we're in first gear. There we go. I don't know what that was. <laughs> All right, there is a little bit of a delay, but you know what? I'm still glad Mazda put paddle shifters on this one because if anything, you can use them for engine braking when it starts to snow out if you're going down a hill. Use the paddle shifters to downshift, do a little bit of engine braking rather than actually hitting the brakes. So you're less inclined to slide off the road or things like that. So it's a good reason they're there at least for that. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the right. That is going to give full control back to the CX-5. And once again, let's find a straightaway and let's see if the CX-5 really does feel like it can hit 60 in 6.4 seconds. All right, slight uphill acceleration here, but. It's kind of loud. Ah, 
that'll work. Certainly no issues with merging onto the highway. Not the quickest thing in the world, but dang, still a pretty darn good acceleration for an SUV. And I kind of like the engine noise that it was giving off there too when I was really hitting the gas. So definitely plenty to merge onto the highway or anything like that. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 11.7 inch ventilated front disc for the base engine configuration, 12.2 inch ventilated front disc if you were to go with that turbocharged engine that we have today then in the back 11.9 inch solid rear disc whichever engine configuration that you go with as far as that 60 to 0 stopping distance goes that comes in at 123 feet and as far as that braking feel goes definitely no issues with that it feels like it brings you to a stop very quickly there's no brake pedal delay or anything like that there then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as the steering feel goes that is one of the things i always say in my mazda reviews the steering feel is absolutely brilliant in the cx5 or really all mazdas for that matter it definitely has a nice weight to it definitely on the heavier side so it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go it gives the driver a better feeling of being in control of the vehicle as well so i love that as far as ride quality goes that's perfectly fine as well just pretty much as expected for this size of an suv so i have no issues with that either cabin noise is quite nice especially when you get on the gas you do get a good bit of that engine noise when you really hit it but in my opinion that's a good thing i love hearing the engine noise other than that there is very little exterior noises coming into the cabin in the form of wind noise or anything like that so i do like that as well then touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back this is a smaller suv for the most part so you really shouldn't have any issues with visibility but i did want to also mention along those lines rain sensing windshield wipers are going to come standard on every single trim level of the cx5 that's a brilliant thing because a lot of times rain sensing windshield wipers either won't come on a vehicle or they'll be just on the upper trim levels of other manufacturers so i love that mazda put it on every single trim level of the cx5 essentially what that is is when the cx5 detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers so it's essentially one less thing you got to worry about just like automatic headlights so better focus on enjoying the drive in this one did want to also mention there is a head-up display i am currently looking at that is going to come standard on the grand touring trim level and up projecting things like your speed limit as well as the current speed you're going and some safety features as well so that is also going to assist with visibility up there too but that about rounds up the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2021 mazda cx-5 all right you guys here she is the new 2021 mazda cx-5 let's go ahead and start up front on this one led headlights actually do come standard across the board every single trim level even the base model is going to get that but i will say if you go with the touring trim level and up those headlights also come with auto leveling as well so that's a pretty cool feature Headlights lights of course also come with the automatic feature as well meaning when it starts to get dark out at night they will turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also coming standard across the board but if you were to go with that grand touring trim level and up those headlights will actually get upgraded to an adaptive front lighting system meaning when you're going around the bend at night those headlights will swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating when it's around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or anything else really but led fog lights also also coming with the grand touring trim level and up you guys can see those small little fog lights towards the bottom of that front bumper there black mesh front grille is going to come standard across the board all trim levels there but i will say you will get chrome grille surrounds if you were to go with the sport touring trim levels or the signature and then dark grille surrounds if you were to go with one of the carbon edition trim levels so it's going to differ slightly there as well but so now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the cx5 here so i've climbed into the woods here for you guys so forgive some of the branches blocking the cx5 a little bit there but rear privacy glass is going to come standard on all trim levels chrome belt line molding also standard on all trims when it comes to those side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors with led integrated turd signals actually coming standard across the board as well it's pretty nice gloss black side mirrors are going to come with the carbon edition trim level only of course and you will get heated side mirrors for the grand touring trim level and up and 
automatic power folding side mirrors for the reserve and signature trims. And of course we do have that then today. So taking a look now down at the wheel setup, 17 by seven inch aluminum alloys for the sport and touring trims, then 19 by seven inch aluminum alloys for the carbon edition trim levels and up. And so of course these wheel designs are going to differ slightly amongst the trim levels, but as far as the sizes go, that's how they're set up there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the CX-5. So now since we are round back, of course, body colored shark fin antenna up top there just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper led taillights actually coming standard on the grand touring trim level and up if you want a little better illumination in the back we'll find some trim level badging along with all-wheel drive badging if the cx5 that you get is equipped back on that rear lift gate as well and just below it all dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we are around back of this one, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, you will get a power lift gate for the grand touring trim level and up. There is a button on the key fob. There is also a button by the driver's left knee and there is a button on the lift gate itself, of course, as well. So a few different ways you can go about opening that one up. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 30.9 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there's a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 59.6 cubic feet then. Also in that cargo area, you will find some tie-down anchors. There is also a very little bit of in-floor storage. So underneath the cargo floor, there's actually a spare tire. And of course, all of the tools needed to actually swap it out. But to the sides under the cargo floor, that is where you're going to find that little bit of in-floor storage, really. So I did want to mention that to you guys. 12-volt power outlet back there as well. But that pretty much rounds out the cargo area. Let's go ahead and make our way to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 39.6 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Dual rear USB charging ports are going to come in the carbon edition trim level and up. You will find heated rear seats if you go with the reserve or signature trim levels. That is a pretty cool feature to spoil the rear passengers there. Rear center armrest with cup holders coming with the touring trim level and up. And also with that touring trim level up, you will find rear ventilation for the rear passengers then as well. And make our way to the front seats, manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the Sport. Touring trim level is going to add to that leatherette seating with suede inserts, including heated front seats as well. Carbon edition trim level and up is actually going to give you then leather seating, and you will find ventilated front seats if you were to go with the reserve or signature trim levels. And all of those heated and ventilated seat buttons are actually located just in front of the shifter right around the climate control buttons. But I did want to also mention on the signature that we have today, we actually have memory settings for up to two different drivers as well. It's actually located on the seat itself as opposed to on the driver's side door where it's typically found on other manufacturers. So I did want to mention the memory settings are located located on the seat. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped across the board. Even the sports trim level is going to get a leather wrapped steering wheel. That's pretty nice. Heated steering wheel is going to come with the reserve and signature trim levels. And by the way, that heated steering wheel button is located just to the right of the push button start button. So that's where you're going to find that. But that's pretty nice for colder days in Pennsylvania, quite like today, actually. But so now let's go ahead and make our way to the start up here. Let me start by showing you guys the key. You do have your mods the logo on the one side and nothing on the other side because essentially all of your buttons are located on the side of the key that is going to include lock unlock the panic button and the button to open that rear lift gate of course as well but it is all keyless entry with a push button start for every single trim level so all I am going to do is simply leave the key in my pocket, put my foot on the brake, and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. So then when it comes to the gauges of the 2021 CX-5, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is front and center, and then there is a small digital display found all the way to the right, and to control what is on that small digital display, simply use the steering wheel mounted control on the left side labeled info. When you press that info button, you will be able to display a ton of different information like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's trip A, trip B, of course, when you need your next oil change, some safety information, navigation information, the list goes on. So basically everything you could possibly need in that right-hand portion of the gauge display there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality because quite honestly, Mazda always gets this one right. 
power moonroof is going to come with the grand touring trim level and up. I always like to start with that. And you do actually have home link controls for up to three different garage doors located just underneath of that as well. Do you want to also mention up top here, there is an overhead sunglass holder that is going to come with all trim levels as well. By the way, I should mention the home link controls that is for the grand touring trim level and up in case anybody wanted that dual zone climate control coming with the touring trim level and up there is led interior lighting for the signature trim level the one we have today of course and you do get a little bit of wood trim accenting for the signature trim level as well you guys can see that located on the doors it kind of ties together just above the passenger side glove box and continues as well so that's pretty nice but overall what really makes mazda interior quality so nice is all of the soft touch materials like for instance just above the passenger side glove box a lot of soft touch materials with stitching as well definitely looks good there just around the shifter you have that piano black finish which is also a very nice finish however the one room for improvement i would say is just behind that piano black finish there is a hard plastic finish which i can see is probably going to get scratched up eventually over time so i wouldn't have minded if they kept that piano black finish and pushed that back right around the circular dials and buttons for the infotainment screen there but Anyways, just in front of the shifter, you will find a 12 volt power outlet. There is a little bit of storage up there as well. Just behind all of it, there are two cup holders as well as a good bit of storage along with two USB charging ports, an SD card slot, and a 12 volt power outlet within that center armrest as well. One of the things I am missing here though is there is no wireless phone charger. I'm kind of surprised to see on a 2021 model that it is even not offered on this one. So that kind of surprised me there. But anyways, it is plenty fine though as far as the quality of the materials used in the CX-5. But let's now go ahead and take a look at the tech display. 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display now coming standard for every single trim level across the board. That is one of the new features for the 2021 CX-5. So you gotta love that. Previously was an eight inch screen, of course. Bluetooth and audio streaming also coming standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay along with that. Factory navigation system is going to come with the signature trim level only. And of course you can check out your radio settings up there as well and by the way when it comes to the sound systems of the cx5 four speakers is going to come with the sport six speakers is going to come with the touring and carbon edition trims and then you will find a 10 speaker bow sound system with the grand touring so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next we do have that bow sound system here with us today so let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> Wow, Bose, you killed it with this one. Wow, that was amazing, quite honestly. Not as good as Bowers and Wilkins, that's still my favorite, but dang, that sound system was absolutely amazing. The clarity really is what did it for me there with the Bose sound system, that was wonderful. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is, when you do put the CX-5 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard for every single trim level. Signature trim then is going to give you a 360 degree monitor in addition to that as well, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first thing I always like to mention, this is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that's always a good start. Front side, side curtain airbags also coming standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, also standard tire pressure monitoring system. That's all pretty basic at this point, but also standard for every single trim across the board. Blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. That's usually something you only find in upper trim levels of other manufacturers. So I'm gonna mention that. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and lane keep assist as well. Then if you were to go with the signature trim level and up, that is going to add to that front and rear parking sensors, driver attention monitoring system, and reverse automatic braking as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the 2021 Mazda CX-5, Love the new 10 and a quarter inch infotainment screen. That is definitely a feature. I would probably consider just jumping up to the 2021 as opposed to the 2020 right now, just because of that. That's pretty cool. Great interior quality, of course, as always. Absolutely amazing steering feel. That's something Mazda always gets right in their vehicles. Great safety, great reliability. So that's always a plus as well. 
cargo space is really the trade-off when it comes to pretty much all Mazdas. They tend to be on the smaller side, so when you're comparing this to maybe a CRV or a Hyundai Santa Fe or even Tucson, all of those other manufacturers for the most part are going to give you more cargo space than the Mazda CX-5. So it's really the trade-off of this one when it comes to space, but on the other hand, you still got the great reliability and the steering feel is definitely one of the big perks of the CX-5. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new 2021 Mazda CX-5 in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. For you.